We got the backcountry poop episode coming up right now. Hey, everybody, this is Derek, and with me today is the only man who will brush his teeth with the ash from the pyre pit, regardless if it's been peed on or not, Carl Mandrioli. <laughs> How are we doing? I'm doing great. Welcome to the Backpacking and Blisters podcast, the poop show, everybody. With me today is Derek Smithville. He's a man that believes toilet paper should never exercise because it's always wiped out. So true. So true. So true. I was gonna say I was gonna say that that ad you had, like the most accurate part of your ad was the pine cone Doug Cattle. So well done. <laughs> I checked, I fact checked it and everything. That's great. That was a small dig at you. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! <laughs> if you get the joke there, wow! We did a poop oh, wow. episode a little over a year ago, and I thought, you know what? Like, I know the poop episodes for whatever reason are very popular, but that's the last one we're gonna do for a while. And then after we did one, all these questions started rolling in. Questions yeah. I would have never thought to answer. So here we are again, Derek. It's the creativity of the B and B family. That's yeah. what they do, you know. And right. I think that you know, ironically, everybody he he wrote me and he's like, "Look, uh, I know we're doing a poop episode." Uh, it's your trivia, but don't do any poop trivia. And I said, "What? That's not going to happen." Did there's going to be there's going to be at least one poop question. Okay, it's for the okay. people, and not for you. More for right. me. All right. So, is this the number one best poop show out there? I get what you're doing. Number one, number two. I get it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I get it. Number two. Uh, it's number two. You kind of write the joke. Thanks a lot. Hilarious. Okay. Hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Broke that right, down so real quick. We've anyway. We got questions. I would phrase this as like questions, all your embarrassing questions that you have. Mm. I think some people even yes. ask them like anonymously that, you know, we're just going to dive in. We're gonna dig Why not? In. Yeah. Dig in. Let's, dive let's, in. you know, yeah. get and that. Then after, home. Like throughout the year, I, I think people caught on to the, you know, some of the poop theme stuff we've had. And they, I had multiple people send me the Bible verse of the episode, Deuteronomy 23, 13, which I think was yeah. the same exact one we used last year, but just Probably. to honor those folks. It says, and you shall have a trowel with your tools, and when you yes. sit down outside, you shall dig a hole with it and turn back and cover up your excrement. Whew. Wow. What did How that do you change your tune on the trowel situation, Derek? No. No. I don't know what was going on back then. Did they have a trowel? What was the trowel made of back then? Was it metal, you think? Or was it like some kind of carved wood situation? By the like time Deuteronomy was around? No. They would have had access to metal. Okay, so we, yeah. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe, did you just keep one in your back pocket walking around? They did a lot of walking back then, obviously, so. Right, I mean, a lot of them walked around with their, like, silverware. Are so, you putting, like, crap. trowels on your hip belt? You're just walking around with your poop shovel everywhere you go? Like, <laughs> it's what kinda, do they do? It's, it's kind of like a tool belt, right? But for backpacking, so you have, Because like, you can't, you can't be, you're walking, you get the, the, the donkeys, you get the mules, you, it's, everything's packed in the packs, I'm imagining. Right. And then jezekiah or whoever's like i gotta go poop <laughs> um, you don't want to go digging around through that big pack on the mule you might you know like yeah. you gotta have it handy so especially if it's an emergency right yeah you might want to rope that thing in what if you're in the flat desert like where do you you just go right like, what That's happens good question yeah jezekiah does need to be concerned about those things and jezekiah yeah, they right. have yeah maybe some sort of tool belt where you can kind of quickly grab some things True. I don't know but you know they kind of have that for backpacking because people are you know the, the fanny pack is back and oh, that's a, that's a pack. trend that's come back around again. And actually, we talked about that in this month's bonus episode with I your think, uh, backpacking yeah. trends that are setting the world back twenty years. So yeah, I think I feel I'm I'm realizing I'm feeling more toward the fanny pack. How you feel about people buying these like custom ditty bags? Mm. Like why why do we need the fanny packs? Like it's I I I'm guilty. Right. I had the fanny pack trip. I'm guilty. But that's but that, that was, was that a was, long time uh, ago. That was episode one of your backpacking career right there. So episode one. Exactly. Yeah. I, you weren't taking the fanny pack as an extra accessory. That was just, that was your pack. So that was the whole thing. That was the whole thing. I, yeah, I don't understand the fanny pack because you have the, like most backpacks have hip belt pockets at this point, And a lot of people are attaching some sort of pocket onto their shoulder strap. Right. Right. Like how much, like how much stuff are people accessing? They like, I mean, they like the knickknacks or like, right. You know, you want them right here. Yeah. I, want them, I want them close. I want them For close. Sure. For sure. Yeah. So, and that, these might be the same people that are using the sit pad. So, if you're already taking a oh, lot of breaks, do you really geez. need to access things while you're on the go? Because you're not on the go as much, right? You're probably sitting down more, right? Yeah. But maybe you, when you sit down, you just want to grab it. You don't want to dig for maybe. it. I don't okay. know. 
You can't fit know. the sit pad in the fanny pack or in the shoulder strap or in the hip belt pocket. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't so, either. I'm not a sit pad person, though. This is not the episode that we're talking about that. We're, let's get into the, the questions. Let's let's dig in here with the, the serious questions people had, the, the questions I could have never even thought of myself. Let's dive and, in the poop. Let's dive yeah. in the poop. Here All we right, go. I'm just going to ask you, you're, you're the, you know, genuine authority on poop. So the resident poop expert. You answer first, basically. Oh, geez. Okay. All and then right. I want your ridiculous feedback probably after. <sighs> You're the you're the authority. Why would it be ridiculous? So number one, <laughs> I don't know. Number one, somebody wants to know what the best way to uh, sort of like you know finish up or clean up after yourself. Like what kind of? I would guess finish. this is like a gear question. Like, are you using any special okay. gear to kind of you know take care of yourself after the fact? We're talking about wiping. Is that what we're talking about? Could be. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I well again, we we know that I am not. I know I'm being graded here, by the way, everybody. So Carl likes got the pen. <laughs> I see a pen there. See a, a scantron or a sheet of some kind. I don't know what that is. Um, You're not normally like this. Usually, you just kind of just you have an answer. You stick by. I got it, an answer. You're I'm very go. concerned. You're very concerned right now. It's more. It's more annoyed. I, it, why does everything have to be graded? I, it's the summertime. I'm not grading you. Just answer the question. It, look, all right. I, I don't bring toilet paper, as we know. I don't right. do it. I'm not going to waste the space. So, I find uh, on the trail as from from the get go, uh, I'm looking for like soft leaves it's something i can like put up there to like wipe around and get some traction because you don't want to be you know you gotta get it out of there you know what i mean so so i mean it, i've used all kinds of things like uh any kind of like frondy type leaf to uh, a bunch of grass i know you're gonna be like well don't you get grass stuck up there no, again no man you no. your your self-esteem is so stinking low right now i don't know oh. what your problem is i'm just you're kind defending of anticipating. yourself and you're not getting attacked I'm at, I'm anticipating what you're gonna do. I, I, I know I'm dead on, and that's why just you're be saying self-confident. Oh believe. boy, here we. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking for things on the trail right from the get-go that are right. not crunch. I'm not gonna get like crunchy leaves, but like something right. that's soft and like you can get out there, and it's okay. Yeah, yeah. there's plenty and, of stuff out there. And not the last episode. One of the first episodes we did on, um, you know, how to go poop in the woods. Derek revealed that he does. He doesn't bring really any gear for this, and so he uses a. He's willing to use different things. But one of the things he listed was a pine cone to dig his yeah. his cat hole, and yeah. so that I feel like that that episode we did was episode or uh, season one, season two, and you still like years later have no actual proof that you could make this happen. Why would I film myself digging a poop hole and then show? You don't have to you. film yourself. I'll film you. <laughs> sure, you would. It doesn't have to be poop hole. It can simulate that. Like oh, let me show like you. A, a I can camp? dig a hole with a pine cone. We've okay. I will. You want to do it on the trip? Let's do it on the trip. Let's find a pine cone and we'll do it. Okay, that's fine. Do you want to be in charge of the pine cone or searching the appropriate ground? I probably both. I think that's yeah. wise because I don't want you rigging anything. I'm like, let's, rigging let's it. Do it I just want you to show. Let's do it over here near all these rocks. Let's do it over here. You know. Are you comfortable know. if I bring a ruler to confirm that it's the appropriate <laughs> depth? <laughs> no, I am not comfortable. <laughs> Why not? It has to be six inches deep. Follow the six, rules. Six inches. You're, yeah. Are you really built? You're going six inches with your trowel? It's not me. This is the rules for the Forest Service. Answer the question. Parking. Are you doing six inches with your trowel? I try. That's a no, folks. That's a no <laughs> in Carl language. So, he can't. so no ruler. I don't want any ruler. Sometimes I, I go eight. It. Sometimes I might go five. Yeah, I don't know. Not, right. I don't usually have the ruler with me, but we'll, we'll confirm. I'll bring the ruler. Okay, All right. I'm sure you will. I'm making sure a note. I'm bringing a ruler. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry the extra weight. So I'm sure. Oh, wow. That's big. All right. So you heard it from Derek is as you're hiking, don't, don't mm -hmm. be concerned about conversation. Don't be concerned about like looking at the beautiful scenery or just enjoying the outdoors. You need to be on the hunt, folks, for soft leaves and grasses. But that's that's, that's part of looking at the scenery, looking at the, oh, look at that beautiful <laughs> view. I, you know what? While I'm looking at this, I see these great leaves over here. Let's okay. throw a couple in the pocket. You know all what right. I mean? That's, that's all you got In the do. pocket or in the fanny pack? Pocket for me. Fanny all pack right. for you. <laughs> shoulder, right. shoulder pocket. Similar question. How do you follow up after the backcountry bidet, such as the Kulo Clean? How do I follow up? Ooh. Yeah, that's, this is a question we got. I think I think that's okay. The Kulo Clean. Ugh, now you're wet it's, down there. It's, I think it's all about pressure. You know, did you get enough pressure to get everything out? Do you? And that's a hard one to know. Let's assume that you did. You're now you're wet. Your your bottom is wet. Let's assume I did. Okay, that's that's fair. I think I'm gonna if I'm wearing underwear, which usually I am. I don't know about you, but um, I think I'm just gonna rough that out because we're talking like minimal. We're talking like minimal water. And if I'm moving and shaking and grooving, it's going to dry within like minutes. So I'm not going to be too concerned about 
slight wetness. Okay, so you're going to walk around bare butt for minutes. No, I said I'd pull. I'm going to pull it back up okay. and walk around and let it, you know, let them all, let it all breathe and let let it dry out. It's not going to take forever, you know. So you're so, going to walk back to your group of backpackers with a wet spot on your butt. That's it's not going to be. It's not going to be noticeable. <laughs> hey, if I have my, uh, if I have my uh, tight compression chonies on or my regular <laughs> underwear, whatever you want to call them. It's not going to sit and then you pull your pants over the top. Think about this stuff. It's not going to be like a big old, like you're, you're talking like drops, dude. You're technically clean. You're technically clean. But if somebody sees a wet spot on your butt, like that's going to grow as Okay. So this is only enforces more. The reason to have something in your pocket, some kind of leaf. Cause you, you do your, <laughs> you do your Kuho clean. You get it okay. all out. And you're like, you know, I could air dry this for a good 30 seconds. I'm not in any rush or, I could do a quick wipeity wipe with a few leaves, yeah. get rid of the drops, and pull it back up. I'm good to go. Right. You know, I don't know what you're Not in any rush. That is very accurate for your style of backpacking. I don't 100%. think you should. I don't think you should rush that event. You're 10 yards in on the hike, and you're like, people are a mile ahead of me now. That's fine. There's a reason I don't have hemorrhoids, and there's a reason Carl does, folks. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Right there. That's it. All right. Next question. Let's do this as like a role play here. So the question was like, what if you're oh, out on the trail and you and you want to go to the bathroom, but you can't go and you don't have anything with you that's going to help you go? So <laughs> let's <laughs> say... <laughs> right yeah, away, so, stupid. So right I'll, let, I'll leave it up to your imagination as far as what that could be. But let's say that you need you need some help with this and we you're, all need you're help. hiking down the trail and you encounter yeah. me and Oof, you're that's just bad trying luck. to get some something... That's bad out of luck. my pack. All right. Let's, so here we go. Hiking down the trail. You see me. I say, hey, how's it going? I'm, I'm doing all right, my man. Doing all right. Uh, you know, just trying to find a spot to, uh, you know, get off the trail and relieve myself. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's weird. We, we literally just met and you're telling me that you want to go to the bathroom. This is look, a very look, awkward conversation. Look, look, you understand. You're out here in the, in the, in the wild. <laughs> when you got to go, you got to go. I don't have time for the chit chat. Seem like a nice guy. If you want to hang around after, I'll chat with you. Do you have any, <laughs> by the way, do you have a trowel I could borrow or maybe some like excess TP? Because you look like a guy who carries a full roll. Uh, you know, your social awkwardness is making me not want to help you at all. It actually makes me want to mm. leave immediately because you're telling me you don't want to talk to me and you're and you're trying to go to the bathroom with my gear. I don't even know you, buddy. Mm. Get out mm. of here. I don't see any threatening weapons or tones coming from my mouth. So you know what? I don't even want your toilet paper or your trowel. So forget <laughs> you. I'll figure it out. There's rocks and pine cones right over there. Okay. That's, that's not how solving that the problem. The rocks and pine cones are not goes. the issue. The issue is like your body can't go. You you now you, like I have stuff you need, and you have offended me, and I'm hiking on, and you did not solve the problem. Did you have any laxatives? We don't. Uh, know. Maybe. You look like the guy who has laxatives. I had a lot so. of dried fruit. I would have lent you. Oof. I don't know. Uh, here's a true confession. Random okay. tangent. True confession. We're on a private backpacking blisters podcast. So correct. There was one time. Uh, this is early in the day. Uh, early in the years of backpacking where I didn't bring toilet paper. I didn't have any leaves and it was a hot day mm -hmm. and I did my deed and uh, all I could really find, I didn't really plan it out. Rookie mistake. I didn't really plan it, but I found a nice round, smooth, hot rock and use hot. That. Like, you know, sun, the sun was on it. Sun it was warm. Baked. Okay. Sun baked. And I used that to, get the situation under control. Okay. And it worked actually pretty good. Okay. You know, there was enough grip on that thing and it, it felt nice and toasty. So did you, did you keep it as like a souvenir? I used it to, as a tracker tracking device to um, ward <laughs> off any predators. So, okay. All right. um, but it, you know, I mean, nature provides, I don't know if you, maybe you're just having insecurity with that and you would rather, you know, put your poopy toilet paper in All the right. ground. But I, I feel like your comprehension of this question is so far down the wrong hole rabbit hole here that like okay the question is like what if you get like your body need like wants to go to the bathroom you've been storing up a lot of food but it's not going and so you, you mentioned you're laxative. talking about laxative. It's not okay. about digging or, or finding a smooth sun baked rock it's about okay, that I mean, if you were if you were listening you would have said you know hey hang on a true confession side note tangent okay that's what I said. Did it, everybody else hear that? I don't know if Carl heard that. You've just been spending a long time on this question. You still haven't answered the question. So because it's it's a question. I'll answer that, the question. I'll maybe it's a it. good question because it, it provoked some extra thought. Maybe you're talking about laxatives. Would I get a laxative? Would I would I put in a little X lax in my bag? I wouldn't. 
I don't know about no. you. I think, I think it's, we're talking about more eating fiber in your diet. We're talking correct. about eating uh, things that are going to make you poop. So having those you know? things as part of the, you know, your snacks, your food, that kind of thing would be a wise way to go so that you don't have that problem ahead of time. But yeah. if you do want to yeah, solve that problem, like you could ask, you don't have to tell the person as you just did like, hey, I'm having a bathroom issue. You could just be like, hey, uh, I'm, I'm lacking some fiber. Do you happen to have any like, mm, extra dried fruit? Or something I'm like that? lacking some fiber. I could yeah. do that. So it's it's inappropriate to say like where you're going poop. Is that what I'm understanding? We'll do the next episode. We'll do like how to be socially appropriate on the trail, and we'll do. So some let lessons. me. So it's okay to announce to the entire group, men and women, like, hey guys, I'm going poop, and this is where I'm going. I'm Carl. Do not follow me. This is what I've said for the past three poopy episodes. So that's you see what I'm dealing with, people. Like this is what he tells everybody else to do, but then he, I can't ask a stranger for some. Uh, I'm not tissue. talking to strangers. I'm talking to my own group, and it's mainly to you because you're the one that follows people. So, but I met. But you just said I met you on the trail. I met you. Yeah, in the moment. How we, about we have had that? The introduction. We don't. We're not friends yet, and you're telling me about. Your oh, we're issues. not friends now. Okay, we well, got to lead with that. We aren't friends apparently because you would know that I. It's, you know, Next this, question: What if you can't stop going? Well, that's that's a whole different story, right there. Right. I think if you can't go, you I mean, role play this one. Just just answer the question at this point. I'm I'm not role playing. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what to say about some dija. <laughs> we call it dija out here in California. Uh, if you're having some dija, I mean, uh, I mean, maybe you got a little giardia from the water. Mm -hmm. What can you do? <laughs> I mean. It's not much you can do. You gotta go find a spot and handle your business. It's if it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out. This right, is but the line. issue is that if it continues to come out, then like it actually grinds you to a halt. You can't keep hiking. Well, it does. I think you gotta drink your fluids, stay hydrated. It'll probably dehydrate you a little bit for yeah. sure. Um, maybe eat some. Uh, <laughs> it sounds weird to say. Maybe eat some uh, of Rocky's cheese block and oh, plug. Wow. You know, plug it up a little bit. But okay. I mean, you you're gonna have to just be like, guys, I'm gonna catch up with you. I, I need a few minutes. This is going to be a rough day for me. I have a little okay. bowel issue. I mean, it's just, what else can you do? But I mean, I think, that's I think you, again, you ask for things. I think a lot of people in their first aid kit might have some, you know, some things like Imodium or Tums or something. Do like you carry Imodium months. in your first aid kit? I do. You do not. I do. What have you ever used Imodium AD? Thankfully, I will have used it, but not on a backpacking trip. I've used it on a different kind of trip as a, as a result of some, like going to Nepal, if you want to know, like when we were Okay, doing that's this. fair. No, that's yeah. a good point. That's a good so, point. Since then, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I've had it. And so you could ask around and see if they have it, but just as a preventative measure, we can't suggest medication on the show. I'm sure we can suggest it, but I wouldn't feel comfortable. But that's something that I would have in my first aid kit. Um, and I would have to, I would have it if I could in like a small bag that was labeled because mm. you start bringing all sorts of different pills and things and ibuprofen and you kind of, you know, it's easy to lose track of what's what. So that's one that I would have. Maybe you need a custom ditty bag for that. You know, <laughs> a very maybe. small one. Very small <laughs> one. All right. Uh, uh, it's storming yeah. outside. It's mm. windy. It's snowing, mm. sleeting, yep. hailing. You got to go bad. It's bad weather. How do you go? That is rough. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think I first try to find a big old thick tree. Okay. Get some, get minimize the rain, the downward rain. Right. So I'd try to minimize that and then uh, just grab a branch or something, brace myself and go. Uh, okay. If I can't find that, if I'm out like in some field or something uh, or near like twigs and branches, I think I try to just cover myself as best I could with my uh, poncho or jacket okay. or something. I got like a rain tarp or some sort of um, some, some kind of waterproof anything. Like and then the, cut the rain cover your tent rain cover my tent if i had if i had time to grab it out of my bag right. i don't know if i have that right i think maybe just that's where if you have the hoodie you just throw on the hoodie and you just you gotta power through you gotta i mean your body's gonna re really be the dictator if you yeah. have some time i'd say try to get some coverage try to get a tarp try to get a, a a hoodie try to get something waterproof over your head or a tree if not throw up that hoodie hood and go to work this would have to be something like an emergency because typically your body's yeah. only going to want to go to the bathroom when you're comfortable and in that situation you're not comfortable your body's not relaxed or comfortable so no you know how mountaineers not. you know like they're you know inside a tent it's like negative 20 oh, outside yeah. on a high steep slope mountain do you know how they go to the bathroom something like a poop shoot or something in there somewhere yeah some, tent? like some, some tents have like the, the poop hole and so they dig down into the snow and then they they bury it that way so that chute goes into a hole they pre-dug into the snow no, I think that they open they dig it right there. Open the little like trap door in their tent and they dig down. 
And if they're sharing a tent, okay, you get to know your your partner really well. So here's what here's what's funny about that is I've heard, and I'm sure that's a fun experience in its own right. But I have heard like top of Mount Everest near the top, just poop, a lot of poop. Yeah, and dead bodies, and and the dead bodies. But this right. is a family friendly show, Carl. I don't know if you want right. to go that route, but yeah, a lot of poop everywhere, which has got to be just gross. I just think Mount Everest up. has got to be disgusting, you know, to hike there at all, right? I don't even think I'd want to go for the poop and the dead bodies everywhere. Right. What do I know? Yeah. But like, that's just, no, sounds... yeah. Or somebody who's dying and you're like, well, I can't help you. Cause then I might die. So I'm going to step <laughs> over you so I can get to the peak first and keep moving. So I don't die, but so that I can still hmm. get to the peak. Like I can't do that. Like that to me is I, I would. Yeah. So you I wouldn't be like, Hey, sorry, you're struggling, but you know, I waited like seven years to do this spent like a no. hundred grand. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. Like, you know, I bet, you're in you know so just go ahead and die. Like, I couldn't say that to somebody. That's horrible. You know there's people that have done something like that, though. No, a, a, like a lot 100%. of people. Like 100%. most of them. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd probably have less dead people on the trail, right? Correct. Yeah. That's my guess. So, I don't know. Who for thought there? All right. Uh, what about rock climbers? Rock climbers are hanging off the oh, side of the rocks. They have the multi-day, yeah. you know, pitches or whatever you want to call them. Yep. They have those like little, I don't know what you call them, like cots or hammock things that they're tied. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Cracks yeah. in the rock. So crazy. Are they just leaning their butts over and going to the bathroom? God, it seems like the right thing to do, but then there'd be poop everywhere on the ground. So it seems pretty gross. The, yeah, I mean, I, I imagine the they have to like pack it out, right? They got to like have some kind some, of satchel-y bag or yep. hopefully it's a custom ditty bag with a, a, a label on it yeah. for that. Yeah, um, exactly. But that's got to be, that's got to be hard actually to go like that because I feel like, don't you have to be like laying down to do that on your hammocky tent like you're hanging up there you can't really like stand up and like brace yourself yeah I, I don't know that there's like a tutorial on this on youtube where it shows people how they're you know leaning their butts over or, or, wow. or squatting in a position but i imagine that they're able to, to find some sort of position on that like little hammocky cot thing where yeah. they can you know have enough leverage yeah. to to do that i feel like but, i need yeah. some leverage that's that's a, that's a tricky one to me it is that's really tricky okay uh next question now we're getting grosser Here what happens if you accidentally like soil yourself like it you get oh. on your underwear or okay. maybe on your shorts even Ooh. it's just some Ooh. something bad happened i don't want to describe the scenario but now I'm, you you got stuff on your shorts and underwear like a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah, like, be a lot even a little bit in my mind is enough like the so, digest just got out of control <laughs> uh, <laughs> i think what i'm doing and let, okay, so, so like, let's say I like went up the hill, had the had the situation, and it happened, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh geez, I got stuff all over my pants. That's a hard one. Yeah. Um, I think what I and the underwear are just done. I think what I'm doing there is <laughs> it's gonna be embarrassing, but I gotta put the pride aside. Okay. I, if it okay, here I'll just say this: if it's a little, I'm gonna try to cover it or or walk a roundabout way around everybody. Sneak into my tent, <laughs> change it, and and put those either like in some Ziploc bag and never open it until I get home or something. That's yep. that's option. That's option A. That's the top priority option. Yeah. If I can't, if it's just like gangbusters and it's just all over, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to take off the pants, take off the chonies. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna find some shrubbery to wipe myself down as best I can, and then I'm gonna take off my shirt. Cause I always bring two or three <laughs> and I'm going to wear my shirt <laughs> short, shirt for shorts. We're going to call it shirt for shorts. Shirt for short. Like your, gonna are your legs going to go through the arm sleeves? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> See, this is what's so bad about that. I, if I do that and come back to camp, I know you're going to be like, what the, where's the camera? Where is the camera? We got to get this. No, it'd be inappropriate. You have to like tie some things off for that to even be like socially. I just come back. Camera my... appropriate. I, I'm just oh imagining you just be hiding behind the trees. You come to camp and be like, Hey Carl, uh, can you grab my backpack, please? Can you oh, just like throw rough. it behind the tree that I'm using as coverage. And then, Ugh. yeah, I would, I think, that. I think you got to read the situation. Like I, I think, some of everybody's gonna be pretty embarrassed about that. No, you know? yeah, we're not. We wouldn't make fun of you for that unless you were super comfortable with that situation. I mean, if it happened, it happened. But I, right. I'd like to think that I'd. I don't know. You'd want to keep it under wraps. But if you can't, if it's just too bad, then you gotta just. I mean, I think hopefully I'd laugh about it, but I don't know. Okay, that'd be rough. So you, so you said you'd open the bag when you got back. Would you? Okay, I'll say this. If it's just 
covered, I'm throwing yeah. them out. I'm just oh, throwing. I'm them throwing out. no matter even if it's like a little bit. I'm throwing it. I don't want. If it's any just part a little that. little ditty, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just hot hot wash it. Yeah, I'll wash it on that hot rock, the sun baked rock. On that hot rock, exactly, okay. exactly. What what would you? So, okay, like it, you don't bring multiple pairs of shorts. So are you wearing the uh, shirt for shorts the rest of the trip? No, I got my trunk. I usually always bring swim trunks. Okay, so I'm gonna. Trunks. Yeah, gotcha. but th to be fair. That's like 90% of the time. Like we went to, did I bring him a Canyonlands? I did bring him a Canyonlands. Yeah, I always bring a pair of trunks. No so you have what. shorts and swim trunks with you. No. And multiple shirts in your backpack. No, no. I have pants. Mm -hmm. I got my, well, it's true. Pajama pants, luxury item. Yep. And then I just have uh, a thin, lightweight swim trunks. Okay. That's a lot That's going it. on there. It's just I got, I pretty, pretty simple, have, How to sa shape some weight there. Just pretty simple. But. Pretty simple. Is there a scenario where you'd wear your pajama pants the rest of the, of the hike? 100%. Okay. Just make yeah. sure. And I'd roll, up, right. I'd roll them up to stay cool. But those things are going to be nasty. But I would do it. Yeah. Last question I got. So we, I didn't reveal any of the names of these questions. I didn't keep track, really. I don't know if people want, want their names associated with some of these questions because they're kind of, oh. some of these are embarrassing. Oh, they should. They totally should. Okay. Uh, Joe wants to know, what if you didn't bring a trowel and there was no pine cones around? Joe, this is nature. Joe. Uh, no pine cone. I'm going rock. I'm going stick. I'm okay. going anything sharp that I can just poke the ground with. All right. There you go. That's it. Joe, Joe that. wants to know. Whew, okay. That There's a lot of grossness in there. Um, strangely, Derek had some good ideas and was thinking outside the box mm. with some mm. of the, the problem solved. I mm. think we're in agreement with most things like other than I'm throwing, you know, stuff that gets sold away when I get back. I don't yeah. have uh, an extra pair of shorts. I would have to wear my my rain pants the rest of the trip. And I that have would, had to wear yeah. rain pants. I had to wear them like because I brought shorts to Olympic National Park and where they had the stinging nettle everywhere. And so I oh, threw the rain right. pants on the last day and it was a hot day. Oh. That was not my favorite. I'll be honest. That's rough. That is rough. It was rough. So I might even like roll up the legs on the rain pants to make them into like rolled up shorts. That would look pretty dorky, What What but... if you got what if you got a little bit of poop? Like a spoonful of poop on these, <laughs> like 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 they're great pants. You yeah. love these pants. Like these are your favorite pants ever. Yeah. But but they don't sell them anymore. <laughs> and they're in great condition minus the it's poop. Like story of my life. I finally found something I love, and now they don't sell it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Throw them away. They're, they're going still out. throw away. I just yeah the poop's It's mental for you then. Man. It's mental yeah. for you. Okay. Yeah. All right. In, in fact, like. I didn't get to this question, but somebody asked, well, like, what if your partner soils themselves and you notice it and then you're grossed out by your partner? Mm. Like, they're not getting in the tent. They're, they're not going <laughs> to. Well, am I sleeping outside the tent? <laughs> they're sleeping outside. <laughs> like, like I'm saying, if they didn't clean themselves up, like, you notice it. Like, they're, you know, like they have like a smear on their shorts or you something. You think somebody's going to poop on themselves and not notice it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. That's it's sad. happened. It's happened. Trust me. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, before we get to trivia, I've got a uh, gear review, mystery ranch backpack. I don't even know if I can yeah. show this on. I want to see it. I want to see it. Uh, can you see it? Yeah. I, see it. For the I see a black bag, a giant black yeah, bag five, full yeah. of crud. Yeah. <laughs> it is full. Yeah. It's filled with weights so that I could train with it. Wow. It's got, it's called the Cooley 50. Derek, Ooh. do you know what a Cooley is? Uh, isn't that like a koozie? When you put it under your drink and you like keep it warm, it's insulated. Not, it's, no, no, it's no, dry gully or ravine. Uh, they've got all sorts of different like capacities, but the Cooley 50 is a true backpacking backpack. And if you haven't, if you don't know much about Mr. Ranch, they make like the, the Lincoln town car of packs. They, they make packs that, that just give your body a nice big hug, super mm. comfortable. Just the most like to be honest, most comfortable packs that, that I've worn. So I love okay. the Mystery Ranch. The Cooley 50 obviously has a smaller capacity, so it's going to be for a shorter trip, um, maybe some lower miles. It does weigh in at four pounds, which is on the heavier side for a 50 liter pack. Woo! But again, so you're 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 sacrificing weight for comfort. So if that's something True. for you, if you're not an ultra lighter, if you want uh, more comfort than function in terms of like the light weight side of things, this could be for you. I did have a question about the pack though, and maybe okay. they'll answer when they if they listen to this review here. Maybe you yeah. can answer this. All right. Yeah. Cause like they go, they give you like all the bells and whistles. And yeah. in my opinion, sometimes they overdo it. Like some of the straps are like really long. Okay. You can trim it's fine. Sure. But they have a separate sleeping bag compartment that you can zip into and access. Which okay. some packs have, some packs don't have. But like at the bottom? the bottom? The bottom? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Correct. All right. 
but inside the compartment, they have a strap with a clip that can kind of, I guess, secure your sleeping bag inside the sleeping bag compartment. Can you, do you think that's what the clip would be for? Or is, what's the scenario where you would want to use that clip or have that there? The clip inside the sleeping bag pocket as if it's going to roll around and escape or something. Right, like, right. Play. Oh, that's, that's interesting. I don't Are know. Are overthinking that or is there, am I missing something here? That's what it's for? I don't know. Like it's just there. It doesn't have directions on the clip. I mean, maybe it's just for other things. I don't know. That seems like, what else would you put in there? Like maybe you want to not lose your footprint. You want it to stay up front in the pocket. You... Footprint. No, you leave the footprint at home. What are you talking about? Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. We don't do footprints on this Correct. podcast. I mean, you could um, throw your sleeping pad in there if it's a small one. You could throw your pillow in there. You could throw your, your sleep system. I don't, I don't really there. know. I don't really have an, an, a, a, like a use for like maybe keys. Do you put your keys down there? That's it? No, not that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you want to hide them. I mean, I don't really see a need for wait, it because so you, like <laughs> how big wait, is you, the pocket? Wait, are you using the clip to clip your key <laughs> ring? <laughs> maybe. Maybe you're they just... usually make that in the brain of the pack. but I know, but like maybe people want to mix it up. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else you'd use it for, really. I mean, how big is the pocket where you can't just open it up and see everything? You know? Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. I just think that typically the stuff you're jamming down there in there, you're not really accessing until you get to camp. And so if you're you're packing sure. your you know pad or your sleeping yeah. bags in there, you yeah. just pull them out of camp. You don't need them secured in there unless no. the you know pocket happens to be way bigger than your sleeping bag, but it's a 50 liter pack, so it's not gonna be way yeah. bigger. It's gonna fit. So that is weird. So, Mr. Ranch, if you tell us what that's for, we would appreciate it. Otherwise, you might, be, you might be thinking you're overdoing the straps. It's a I'll have um, some more information about this on an upcoming YouTube short Instagram stuff. We'll do a, mm. a full or a little bit longer review, but it's the yeah. Cooley 50, comfortable. Cooley 50. If you're looking for a smaller pack that's comfortable, that is in that nice sleek black color, I think it comes in one other color as well, then this could be for you. So, do question. Do they have, I was thinking of Rocky, uh, do they have like a Cooley 120? You know, because no, he's they, bringing... They have uh, the, the Bridger series. And I think... Like a Bridger it goes eight. Are you joking about the 120? Like, who's got the one? No, I mean, look at this guy carried 40 pounds of water on a trip. Yeah. He had a 90 in pound... In his arms. In his arms, not... He, in the I pack. mean, it's yeah. legend mode right there. I don't know. You got you to gotta think about all these things. Like, he might try to up it. I mean, knowing Rocky, he's just going to be like, yo, if I did 90, let's just clip the 100 mark one time. You know, like, yeah. there's no stopping him. So, I don't yeah. know. Maybe they have a Bridger 120, a they Cooley don't. 100. They don't. That's too bad. And they shouldn't. Let's be honest. That's so true. You don't need that much stuff. He'll have to bring more dense items, like 10, <laughs> 10 pound weights instead of five pound weights. Right. You know I mean? Yeah. Correct. So that'll do it. We keep on talking That's about good. Rocky. We've mentioned him I think, a few episodes in a row, but it's been a while since he's been on. So, yeah. Rocky, if you're out there, we need some MP4s from you. Uh, yeah, give us some feedback on some of this stuff because we're, we're missing you. He started like interviewing other people, which I've got for our next episode out next week, where he's just asking people to share some of their ideas. Like he had the Ranger on talking about the Snickers bars and stuff. Oh, we want to hear from you, Rocky. So, yeah. All right. Uh, we got what's your trivia called? We got trivia. We call Mailbag Rando Trivia. Mailbag Come. Rando Trivia coming up right after this. Okay. All Jay, right. Before, before we get into trivia, we have an established like. We're coming to the end of like the season, sort of, even though we're going to kind of continue on through the summer, but like our, our big trip in July is coming up. So whoever loses the most, like we got to mm. kind of have some sort of punishment. So yeah. what do you want me to do if I'm like the big loser for trivia this year? I want you, it's pretty simple. It's, it's going to be to do something you never do. Okay. It's going to be to jump in the water with the guys. You don't like, like to do lake? it. You don't like to, in the lake, in a stream, wherever we're all deciding to go. Okay. You got to go at least one time. Like knees, knees all the way in. No, you got to go submerge it. <laughs> Some knees in. Get out of here. Submerge. I want to see the top of your bald head totally wet. <laughs> You're going to need sunscreen, maybe. I want it in. All and right. that's it. That's all I'm saying. Even if you polar plunge and get out, that's all I care about. Fair enough. Okay. It's easy. I'll, I'll do it. Okay, fair. If I lose. But if you, you lose, will. I want you to bring uh, part Punch of your garbage pill kids collection with you and just have to carry that with you for the duration of the trip. I'll bring one card. Fair. Okay. No, that doesn't count. <laughs> That's part bonus of the collection. And and bonus points if you can actually like find a stranger on the trail and like trade them for something. Like, hey, I'll give you like a a messy Tessie for um a dried <laughs> apple slice. A dried apple slice. <laughs> just tell them I'm I'm having I'll a hard time. I'm a little constipated. I just want I'll go. Something. I'm gonna go through all my doubles and triples, and I'll, I'll bring some on. Okay. But I'm not gonna lose. Well, how many times have I lost? Twice. I gotta go back through. I think we are. 
I think you're I think you're down one. I think that yeah, you're down one. I'm down one? Really? Yeah. No, Me? no, no, no. I take that back. I think we are tied. You're right. Okay. So if you lose this, it might be over for you. Yeah, we'll have an update next episode. All right. So. Okay, here we go. All right. Mailbag so, trivia. So, so, so mailbag trip mailbag? Mailbag random trivia. Is okay, it's brought to you by the Clue Skier. Let's be honest, back sweat really dampens our spirits. Not only is it uncomfortable and potentially dangerous, it's gross to look at. The Vaucluse <laughs> Ultralight Ventilation Backpack Frame can solve this problem. This game-changing solution fits all backpack and packs up to 65 liters to give you the ventilation you need to stay drier. Use code BLISTERS for 10 bucks off at vaucluse I think like version 2, 2.0, that's going to be out any day now. Mm. Reese, let us know, man. Let us know when it's out. Let us know when it's out. That yeah. sounds great. All right. Yeah. We got random trip. We got three questions for you. First question. First question. Which, and this is a poop question. I said there's okay. going to be one. There's going to be one. Which animal is the only animal that poops rectangular poop? Is it <laughs> the ferret, the wombat, the dung beetle, or the koala? Rectangular poop. Rectangular poop. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. And you knew the answer to this before you looked at this question. 100% I knew this. Did you? Okay. Actually, 100%. if anybody's going to know poop stuff, it's probably you. Correct. Okay. I'm going to say, uh, uh, let's see. I don't, I would have known if it was the koala because I lived in Australia for years. So mm. the dung beetle, I don't know. That dung beetle is incorrect. I didn't get, I didn't guess yet. I, I was, I'm processing. I'm like, just kidding. It's beetle. correct. You got it. Just I kidding. It? No, it's not. No, you didn't. Go ahead. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I haven't guessed yet. So calm down. It's not official. Calm down. I'm, I'm going to say the, uh, the ferret. It, that's your final answer. Incorrect. It is the wombat cubed poopy. Okay. Only one in the kingdom of the animals. So that's zero for one. I'm sorry said, about wait, that. Wait, cubed? You said rectangular. That's way Recta different. Square, you, rectangular, not not round. It's, it's the same thing. Wait, same do thing. you think rectangular and cubes are the same? No, but they're in the same family <laughs> of shape. Okay, they're in the same family. Unbelievable! You can't even get your own question. Okay. Go ahead. Look, 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 you've had weird questions your whole life. So here we go. Number two, uh, what is the only flat? You're big on license plates, right? You're all about. Yeah, Virginia's for lovers. Worst license plate out there. Sorry. You're all about. Exactly. Thank you. Your passion for license plates. So we're going to we're just going to branch it out just just a little bit to flags. What's the only U.S. flag? State flag that is not rectangular. Maybe that's why I said rectangular. Uh, it's uh, is it Arizona? Are you blending your questions together. I'm blending. Is it is one of is your it, answers the dung beetle again? Correct. Uh, is it is it Arizona? Is it Ohio? Is it Florida? Or is it Wisconsin? Which one is not mm. a rectangle? I've been you to Arizona. I've been to Florida recently, and I don't remember seeing a non rectangular flag. I've been to mm. Arizona. That doesn't strike any memory cords. I'll go with. I haven't, I've, I've been I'm trying to think. I don't think I've been to Wisconsin. I've been to Ohio, but like driving Ooh. through there. Ooh. I'll go Wisconsin. Wisconsin is incorrect. It is Ohio. It has like a, like a triangular cutout on the end of it. So it's kind of, got and again, this is something that you knew already. I did not, but you should have because you're a passionate <laughs> license plate state person. So. Okay. And you feel like license plates are the same as flags. They're all state related, right? License no. plates and like, flags. You know all the state flowers and birds. I don't know. This isn't stuff. about me. This is about you. Okay. I know you Sorry. love it about you. So, uh, okay, we failed trivia. Um, well, you failed trivia, so that's that's terrible. But we do have an an additional question. Let's see if we can get something right today. Uh, we ha I was going to give you like something about the Nobel Prize, but I think that's going to be too hard for you. So I'm going to switch it up. We're going to do something really. Just a lot easier. We could do this. There's a lot, a lot of easier. Nobel prizes, by the way. There's not just one. I just want to see. Yes, correct. Uh, oh, so you know about Nobel Prizes? Do you want the question? No. You sure? It doesn't matter. Okay. I lost anyway. Just give me what you want. Okay. It, um, all right. <laughs> How long is an... No, that's, that's too easy. How many bones do sharks have? Is it... <laughs> is it zero? <laughs> Three? 212 or 92? How many bones do sharks have on average... <laughs> What would you say, Carl? 
I'm going to say top five worst trivia question ever. <laughs> like so far from relating to anything ever on our show. that It's like, called mailbag random trivia. What I do you want to do? I get it. You started off with poop. You started off strong with poop. And then you how can clack. you complain oh, if it's yeah. random mailbag? I don't get it. Just 212 you, or whatever. I don't know. What is it? Is, that is the worst. Look, you already failed trivia. I don't There's know. No, I don't know how many bones was, sharks have. There was no need to guess incorrectly on purpose on this. <sighs> They have zero bones, dude. They have okay. cartilage. That is, okay. you're a teacher for God's sake. Yeah, Not unbelievable. For science and that's uh, okay. Carl Mandrilli at backpackingblisterspodcast wow. com for any comments or remarks you want right. to email to him. Right, Derek. Derek, awesome trivia as usual, as usual. All right, it's always awesome when Carl misses it all. <laughs> <laughs> all I got, I got two tidbits. First one. All right, go ahead. Uh, Mike was on the purchasing Tupperware. Mike, I should say, is one that on the purchasing oh. hunt and. He uh, recorded a little bit, uh, a little story right here. So here's what he got. All right. So we just came out of REI. And there was a guy in there returning a backpack that he's had since 2005. What? No. You didn't see that? No. Oh, it was yeah. hilarious. And she was like, no, we're not going to do it. And he's like, it's this lifetime guarantee. on It was so ratty, too. It was just horrible. <laughs> that was the mess. But we got our stuff. Yay. Mike, thanks for that. Appreciate it. But what I want to know is, did you were you witnessing Derek making some obnoxious return? Whoa, whoa, that is that is not my mo. That's not. I'm mean, flattered. Yeah, I'm actually flattered. That long? That old? Two thousand. Yeah. What's the oldest? What what's the say, longest two? thing you've returned? Longest. Uh, you're talking Costco? I'm probably talking any place. Probably like three years. Okay, that's not maybe very maybe four maybe four. What what like why would you hang on to something for four years and be like you know what? After four years of use, I'm dissatisfied. I'm you, want me walk you, you want me to walk you through it? I'll walk yeah. you through it. I had a Vitamix. This is before I knew about blenders very well. I had a Vitamix. Okay. And uh, it's like it was like 350 bucks at Costco. So I'm like, oh, this is the best. I should get this. So uh, you bought a $350 blender. Go ahead. Not, it does a lot more, apparently. So everybody's <laughs> talking it up. So I'm like, great. It's either this or the $99 Ninja or whatever it was. So at the time, right. I'm like, got to get the best, right? So I get it. It's great for a while. And then all of a sudden it starts like the, the rubber starts, you know, coming apart. It starts leaving residue. It didn't like work as well. I'm like, you know. leaving the residue like in the actual mixture you're making. Yes. So I'm like, so this you're, is you're, you're drinking plastic or metal. Almost. Almost. I caught it, though. Maybe a couple of times. Who knows? Uh, so <laughs> I, I thought to myself, you know, what? this is Costco. I wonder. I wonder if they'll take it back. OK, so I, I, I kept the box as I always do. Brought it in there, and they're <laughs> like, the box from "I have the box. I have the box because and yeah. it's Costco, so I keep it. I take it in there, and they're like, you know, yeah. What do you want? You gonna want to go pick a new? You want store credit? Like, what? No, no pushback whatsoever. Right. So I went in there and got a Ninja for ninety nine dollars, and that was it. Okay, and, and I saved two hundred whatever bucks. Did great. you say when they're like, yeah, no problem? Were you like, I love you, I love you? I was like, I'll see you guys next week, okay. and uh, I'll have something else to return. It's totally right. fine. They know you by they know me by name over there, so you know. Okay. All right. Well, well, yeah, they do. What's I, your, what's your me. oldest return item? Like a couple weeks? What are you talking about? No, it was less. I got, I went like early in my backpacking career. I went to REI and somebody talked me into yeah. a, 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 like a waterproof jacket with a down vest liner oh. made by the company Jerry, which is now Ooh. sold at Costco, strangely. Yeah. Gross. And I was talked into, I was like, oh, they're like, yeah, this is an upcoming, up and coming company. And it was supposed to be a waterproof jacket out the gate. It just absorbed water. Ugh. And I was like, I'm probably supposed to spray it. Like, I thought it was like, you know, user Scott error burn. because I'm new to backpacking. I don't know. And yeah. so I keep it for a while and I get more experience and I just end up not bringing it. And then it just sits in the closet for a while. And then I just thought, you know what? Like, this has never worked. And then the down yeah. fill in the vest was just pouring out of it. Oh. And so I thought, I'm going to, you know, probably, it's probably the same time from like four or five years. I, I brought it back. But at the time it was like, you know, like they didn't ha keep track of, <clears throat> excuse me. They didn't keep track of all of the uh, purchases you made with your membership. And so oh, they're like, huge. they're like, we know you bought it here because we sold this item, but we're yeah. going to give you the lowest price that we sold it for. And since it was years old, it was like, I got like 18 bucks back for it. I was Trash. like, you know what? I'll take it because take I don't it. want this. Yeah. Trash. Well, so you're just like me, essentially. I just do it more frequently. But this one didn't work out the gate. So I felt a little more justified. All right. Although, That's you know what? You're still, you should have kept on working. So I'm with you. Okay, with you. fair. Yeah. So we're, we're, yeah, of the same accord. We're in Good. agreement. Yeah. Yeah, fine. A while ago, Liz sent me a story 
about her experience. She also was, she went on a trip in Africa and she said that she was in an area where she was camping out and like down in the valley were lions. It's kind of related Ooh. to one of your stories in a recent yeah. episode. And she said that their guide told them that they had to stay in the tent until the lions went away. Oh. And so they stayed in the tent for hours. And you know what she wished she had? Hmm. The tent catheter. Oh. That's right. She's like, so maybe there's a use for that after. Oh. So Liz, from our recent review, Liz loves Jesus. Thank you for that story. I think I just butchered it, but still appreciate Liz it. Liz just made your whole year, your whole life, really. Correct. That's, that's That, powerful. my friend, is all I got. That is all I got. Guys, it's always a pleasure to hang out with you guys. Thank you. Check out Backpacking Blisters podcast and all the social media handles. We will see you next time. Remember, guys, if you hand Carl a poopy pair of pants, you are no longer his friend and you'll be sleeping in the wild. Thank you.